So many political candidates use gag writers to add a humorous touch to their speeches, each one trying to top the others. Where will all this silliness lead? Just watch. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Gentlemen, I just flew in from Palm Springs. Boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> Coming up in the plane, I watched the movie so old the cowboys were riding dinosaurs. <laughs> but enough about me. Let's talk about this great country of ours. May I have the first question, please? Uh, Scott Reston, Mr. President, New York Times. Ah, uh, New York City. I saw the first sign of spring in Central Park yesterday. A robin mugging a worm. <laughs> Mr. President, uh, what is the status of our detente with China? Well, you know those Chinese, you have a peace talk with China, and two hours later, you're in danger again. <laughs> hey, Scotty, where'd you get the suit? Is it a garage sale? <laughs> Sir, yes. <laughs> what is it? Sir. Uh, Let's move along with the question. <laughs> I was asking you about Red China. Red China? Well, all I know is Red China goes good with a white tablecloth. Bring it on, Bob. <laughs> Next question, please. Uh, Harry Watterson, Philadelphia Inquirer. Mr. President, mm -hmm. how do you propose to solve the economic problem? You make Saudi Arabia the 51st state. <laughs> uh, sir, what's your plan to stimulate the car industry? Massage Detroit. Ring it a boom bang. <laughs> Fred Considine, Casper, Wyoming, Blade. You're from Casper, Wyoming, huh? Fred, I'll make you feel at home. Casper, Wyoming on a Saturday night. Look, Harry, a cricket. <laughs> Bring him on, <up. laughs> uh, Mr. President, yes, what do you think of foreign relations? I'm against them. You don't have to cross the border to get lucky. Are we gonna move? I say buy America. Next question. Uh, rising prices. Uh, for instance, what about the rising price of chickens? Rising chicken prices? I say shoot them down. <laughs> oh, what about offshore drilling? What was that again? I said, what about offshore drilling? Well, that's fine if you can get a dentist to work underwater. Hurry them up. <laughs> These are the jokes. I don't get any better. Yes, right over here. Of what's going on in the labor movement? Oh, fine, I belong to the CIO because everybody says I see I O. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can't get them by mail. You got to go right down for a fitting. What's your comment about the recent flood? I'll never forget the Johnstown flood. My uncle was floating down the river on a sofa, accompanied by his sister on the piano. Uh, ring up. Is this mic on? <laughs> what is this? An audience or an oil painting? This is it, folks. <laughs> of you out there from New Jersey. Good, get your shoes on, get the hell out of here. Next uh, question. When are we going to see your new cabinet? My new cabinet. Is that soon enough? <laughs> My new cabinet. Uh, Mr. President, yes. have you picked a new vice president? No, but I know a president should have his head in the vice. Ring it a bone. Are you going to make any new positions? I beg your pardon? New positions. Yes, here's a new position. <laughs> Son, what is it? I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, do you have any new appointments? Yes, I've seen my barber at 3.30. <laughs> uh, what came out of the last joint session of Congress? We all got stoned. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes, what is it? I don't think you take your job seriously. Oh, really? Why don't you get your head lance, fat boy? <laughs> what are you wearing, prescription underwear? <laughs> Some people bring happiness wherever they go. You bring happiness whenever you go. <laughs> time to go, and uh, thank you very much. I think it is, too. Remember, friends, it's National Forestry, so take a tree to lunch. Right <laughs>